Yeah, I bet you're wondering right now what you just saw. And if you've been following me for a while now, you'll know I have some of the craziest luck. But the truck is good. Um, we can get into that later. Uh, she's good. We're in a new location. But before we get to where I'm at today, in today's adventure, um, I want to go ahead and recap the, the summer series. So this is the recap of season five. Enjoy. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that recap. That's why this video has been delayed. I've been waiting on that animation to come back. I'm gonna plan a little bit better next time. But anyway, I'm super excited about today's adventure. Uh, today's adventure brings us to, well, at least starting at the City of Industry in California. We are at one of the filming locations, one of several we're gonna hit today from the movie Back to the Future. So where am I standing now, you ask? Well, I figured it'd be appropriate to kick off from, well, the scene of the Twin Pines Mall. To walk around here, I'm gonna show, using fair use, um, clips and pictures from the movie and whatnot, but I wanna get a nice picture here, or view, shot here of where I'm parked, which, okay, here's Black Pearl, that railing, is where the sign was for Twin Pines Mall. I'm gonna pan around here. So that booth, if I'm looking at it correctly, the booth would have been over here where the, um, the terrorists came through, the Libyans. Holy shit! But you would have had Doc Brown's van somewhere in this area right here. So I, I just, it's just incredible the mall is actually still here. You figure I saw this movie when I was a kid. What was it? 1985 when it came out with uh, Christopher Lloyd and Michael J. Fox. But this, this right here indeed is the location for Twin Pines. And at one point, I think it even became Lone Pine Mall. Um, I haven't seen the movie in a couple months. I'll have to check again. But yeah, there was because they messed with the, you know, obviously um, the past and everything, you know, the name of the mall actually even changed. But yeah, this is it. This is where the scene was, was shot. And behind me again is the railing right there. So it would have been over here, I believe, where Michael J. Fox would have came uh, rolling down towards the end when he witnessed uh, uh, Doc getting shot by the Libyans. So, 
All right, so let's go on to uh, the next spot. Again, I'm just totally nerding out. But the timing couldn't be better because um, just last week was Back to the Future Day. So um, can't be more appropriate than this. So uh, anyway, so let's move on to the next spot. Well, as you can see behind me, outside of the truck, there's a school there. This is Whittier High School. Um, this is the the exact filming location right behind me from Back to the Future of uh, Hill Valley High. Um, the path actually, um, moving my hand, would have been over here where uh, Marty and Doc would have been walking up to the entrance over here. Now, you're probably asking yourself, why am I sitting in the truck? Well, it's a Tuesday here and there's children everywhere, you know, high school kids. So I don't feel that it's right for me to film with children around. Um, I just don't think that would be appropriate. So we're gonna pass on this one, uh, but I'm here. Uh, it's cool, um, I'm very excited for it, but I think the appropriate thing here is not to go and vlog um, along the fence with kids everywhere. So, um, so with that, stop three. So here we go. <laughs> All right, so this stop we're gonna make uh, fairly quick just because it's a private neighborhood, just like when I went to uh, the Garth Brooks house in uh, Oklahoma. Try to be as respectful as possible. But here behind me is George McFly's house. So that would have been, yep, that's George McFly's house right there. Then we're gonna walk a little bit down here. <laughs> to Lorraine's house. All right, so that would be Lorraine's house right there, which means this tree would have been where George McFly would have fallen out of. He would have come down right here He's a peeping Tom. And then they would have come out and taken him into the house there. Pretty cool, right? It's hard to believe that just a couple of weeks ago I was in Texas and now I'm in California, but more to come on that as well. All right, folks, so I saved this, the big one for last. So I've seen this in other vlogs with like Adam the Woo and whatnot, but I'm at the Gamble House, which in the movie was used as uh, uh, Doc's house, actually. Um, <laughs> to see this in person, like having watched the movies, seen this in vlogs, the camera doesn't do it justice, it's, it's massive. This is indeed Doc's home, also known as the Gamble House. It's even got its own sign off the freeway. It's incredible, but it's huge. It's absolutely huge. And you would have seen in the scene when Marty got back to 1955, he would have actually run right up the driveway right here. And then the Later on in that scene, when he was inside talking to uh, Doc Brown, Doc would have ran out here to this shed, which is the bookstore uh, souvenir shop that they have. I suppose Jane Wyman is a first lady. Whoa, wait, Doc. And Jack Benny is secretary of the treasury. So, just incredible. And I know they, they're giving tours of this place on a 
a relatively daily basis, but I think it's like a small window of just a few hours um, each day, but just incredible. Just too cool for words. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, little adventure today. Um, I have to say I had an absolute blast. Really did. Totally geeked out. Can't believe I'm here. Uh, it's just it's just incredible, you know. So so this is the second time, you know, me doing any filming locations. Um, I'll put a tag right here for the last time I did the uh, Aztec Hotel and the Mayan uh, bar where they shot um, the scene from Bad Santa. Check that out. But if you guys enjoy this type of thing, let me know. Drop it in the comments and then I'll do more. I'm totally okay with that. But that being said, um, as always, appreciate y'all. Love you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. Um, you know, make sure you hit the notification bell so every time I upload another video, you'll get an alert. And uh, with that, we'll see you next time. All right, so long.